ladies and gentlemen, let me just be honest with you. I never cared about affirmative action. The only time affirmative action would come up as a topic of conversation, it would be white people always initiating it with black people. And that's how that conversation would go. I can tell you for one, my whole life during my upbringing and all the way into my adulthood, I have never spoke to anybody about affirmative action because I could care less about it. The way I see it, this country is so deeply ingrained in racism, whether affirmative action is there or not, you still ain't going to be fair. So what's the point? I, I, don't, I don't know. Does it make you feel good to have some crap on paper? So I never cared about affirmative action. And when they got rid of it, good, you got rid of it. And if you notice, the majority of the people doing videos on this also don't care. We don't care. We don't care about your affirmative action. Good. Take it back. So let's get into this one, ladies and gentlemen. So the Supreme Court recently ruled on affirmative action, and this was for college admissions, both public and private universities, in response to many progressive meltdowns and claims that it would herald the end of racial progress. We have never made racial progress. I tell you what, y'all must see things nobody else see. We have never made progress. And sabotage that uh, the prospects of Black Americans. But it turns out Black people approve of the Supreme Court ruling. Yes, we do. We don't care. We don't care about your affirmative action. Y'all cared about it. And then you would have conversations with us as if we care about it. And you know what? When y'all would strike up these conversations, I highly doubt that our people were saying they loved affirmative action. That's highly doubtful. I wouldn't believe it even if you said it. So 59% of Americans approve of the ruling. The Economist and YouGov survey revealed among Black Americans, 44% approve of it, just 36% disapprove. 21% said they weren't sure. That means more Black respondents approve of the Supreme Court ruling against affirmative action than disapprove. Well, it didn't help us anyway. The biggest benefactor of affirmative action were white women. They were the biggest. And all of these other groups that you try to lump in with us, they were benefactors. But as far as the Black community, we were never, we were never ever benefactors of this. Very few of us were. Very few. So you might be wondering why wouldn't Black people want to preserve a system that helps Black applicants? It never helped us. Well, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, who was Black and joined the ruling against affirmative action, explained his line of thinking extensively. So one affirmative action policies that place minority students into college, they wouldn't have otherwise been accepted into. Yeah, but you know what? Many white people are not eligible for college. That's what the college cheating scandal really revealed. It's not just those people, it's many of you. Many of you are not eligible for college either. You know, that's why you got to cheat your way in or have some kind of legacy line in order to get in because your grades aren't good enough to be in there either. So let's be real. Stop being a fraud. So anyway, um, so they're saying that their own set them up for failure and worsen the racial academic achievement gap. No, if you leave us alone, we can achieve many things. That's why you won't leave us alone because you know we can too. So affirmative action policies do nothing to increase the overall number of Black and Hispanics able to access a college education, Thomas wrote. Rather than those racial policies simply redistribute individuals among institutions of higher learning and placing some into more competitive institutions. 
All right. So that's what he's saying. So a study suggests that a large racial preference for black and Hispanic applicants have led to a disproportionately large share of those students receiving mediocre or poor grades. Yeah, but your your kids are getting people in Kenya to do their work because they know they would get mediocre or failing grades. That's why they got somebody else. And, and every single year, you got the stories coming out about these kids buying all kinds of papers to get done and and everything else, theses and, and everything. If they were getting great grades, they wouldn't have to do that. All right. So don't let these people continue to clown you out and act like the only ones eligible are them. When it is clear, when you see the college cheating scandal, you see the number, they, they said it's like a record number of students every year buying all kinds of college papers and, and all kinds of things online. So they can, they, they're even paying these Africans to take their entire college course for them. But you're going to sit here and continue this little game that you're eligible for everything. I don't think so. So anyway, secondly, affirmative action policies unfairly taint all minorities who succeed with the suspicion that they are the only in their current position because of diversity efforts, which has always been a straight up lie. Which has been a straight up lie. So, and, and they love, you, you, you ever been on job? They love coming around you with these conversations. Like I said, whenever affirmative action came up, it always came from them folks. It did not come from us. When I sat amongst my own people, affirmative action never even came up. But when they show up on the scene, that's when it comes up. So that should tell you exactly who it's really benefiting, white women white women that's why they were the only ones always talking about it oh i didn't get the job some black guy got the job that was less qualified than me how do you know they're less qualified than you and some of y'all that got fired you rightfully so deserve to be fired i work with some and they barely did their jobs every day but you know you have the complexion with the protection you can get away with a lot more on a job so Consequently, when Blacks take positions in the highest place of government industry in academia, it's an open question whether their skin played a role in their advancement, the justice further notes. The question itself is the stigma, because either racial discrimination did play a role in which case the person may be deemed otherwise unqualified. Well, all black people are not unqualified for jobs you got out here. You you got to be kidding me. Most of your jobs in the in the US are remedial jobs. They are. They're remedial repetitive jobs where you go in every day and just repeat the same cycle over and over again and how you do your job. It's repetitive work. Repetitive work is easy to learn. That's what the majority of your jobs are, repetitive crap. How the hell is somebody not qualified? Get the hell out of here with that garbage. So anyway, <clears throat> so he said, in which case asking the question itself unfairly masks those who would succeed without discrimination. So it isn't merely, um, you know, hypothetical things, but according to Pew, 35% of Black Americans say they have been disadvantaged by efforts to increase racial and ethnic diversity, whereas only 20% feel there have been an advantage. So, ladies and gentlemen, so if you didn't know, now you know. Many of us never cared about your affirmative action and we don't care that it's gone we could care less so y'all please tell me what you think about this video
please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.